Hi Leos, this is your October love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. All right, so we have the Empress flipping out of the deck here in the beginning of you guys reading. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus or something is not cultivating. You can't birth something. You can't make something happen happen for you and you feel like um it's like a struggle okay with the empress something's not coming together here for some of you you may have terminated a pregnancy with the empress in the reverse i feel like if you did this is not something that you wanted to do this is something you felt was necessary because maybe the other person did not you know want it or said that they weren't going to help you or something like that i'm picking up on also i'm picking up on the message of I can show you better than I can tell you. All right, so we have the Six of Cups here and we have the Two of Cups. So I'm also picking up the energy that some of you could be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. You're really in love with this person. I feel like they're in love with you. You've known them for quite some time. We have the Six of Cups here. If you're not speaking to this person right now because you guys are going through something, I do see you coming back together. I see a reconciliation here. I see because of the history between you and this person, um, there could be some codependency here, but I do see that there's a lot of love as well. Okay, so let's see where this goes, Leo. I feel like you're going to have to show someone like your other side in order for them to get it. And I feel like this person is going to realize that they're like screwing up on a good connection here. Yeah. Hierophant. Some of you could be married to this person or just, you know, in a committed situation where you may live with them. You may have been thinking about moving out, not wanting to be with this person anymore. And then I feel like you're going to think about it or they're going to think about it. And someone is going to decide that they want to commit here. Also, I'm picking up the energy, too, for some of you that you guys are in love with someone here. Could be a Taurus that you guys are in love with and this person is in love with you as well all right so we have the four of swords in reverse here we have the knight of cups some of you guys it's like you want to heal when it comes to a situation with um possibly a water sign but you feel it hard to do so you feel like you and this person um are not on the same page it's like you guys aren't seeing something the same right now could be because you want something more out of the connection and this person doesn't know what they want but they keep coming in offering you love. But you're like, okay, you keep offering me love. But you're not offering me a commitment. Yeah, we have the five of swords. Some of you feel betrayed and you feel stabbed in the back by someone. You, feels like, um, you feel like this person play a lot of games with you. It's like one minute they want the connection and the next minute they don't. And you don't know where this is headed. So I'm getting three different stories here to be, um, to be exact here. I'm getting the story for some of you where you really love this person. And I see you guys wanting to move forward or wanting to see like where this could go. I'm also picking up the energy that some of you are reconciling with someone. And then for others of you, you're waiting for this person to tell you what they're feeling and what they're thinking. You're tired of playing games with them. And I feel like you're going to have to show someone the other side of you. That's why I said I was feeling the energy of I can show you better than I can tell you. We have the energy of the Eight of Wands here. So some of you could be dealing with another fire sign, such as yourself, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or this person lives at a distance. Um, and I feel like you're going to get some communication from them that you're not expecting. Okay, it's going to be out of the blue. But I feel like it's going to come in fast and you're going to have to make a decision or this person is going to be like, you know, do you want to make this work? Tell me now. And I feel like you guys are going to go back and forth. Like, you know, you're telling this person, well, you play a lot of games with me. I don't know if I can trust you, but I feel like someone is very flighty here with this Knight of Cups energy, but they're coming in to offer you something and you don't know whether to accept it or not. You don't know whether to trust this person. I just feel like this person confuses you because the beginning of this reading is confusing me a little bit and it's just because it's jumping back and forth. It's like going back and forth, but I feel like this is how someone does you. With the ten of swords yeah they may end the situation with you or make you think or feel that something is over but then they come back in to wanting to start over again some of you could be dealing with an aries if not you could be dealing with an air sign 
a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, and it's just things are up and down like a roller coaster. It's like you never know what you're going to get with this person. And it's like you're tired of it, but you love them so much. And so you're trying to make something work here. You're trying to see what is it that you need to do that's different. Yeah, some of you are trying to keep from walking away from this with the Eight of Cups reverse. It's like you may tell yourself, I'm done, I'm over this, I'm walking away. But then when this person comes back towards you with this Knight of Cups energy and this full energy wanting to start things over and the eight of wands energy wanting to talk to you it's like you change your opinion of the situation and then you wind up feeling like later on when this person goes back to you know who they were prior to running back to you i just feel like someone is just slipping back and forth here someone may be mentally ill they may have bipolar issues or something but they're flipping back and forth between you and someone else or they're just flipping back and forth in this connection is what I'm seeing here. It's like one minute y'all together, the next minute y'all not. You don't know what to be to make of this. You don't know what's going to become of it. You just know that you love them and they love you. That's all you know, Leo. <laughs> this is what I see here. You just tired of this person's back and forth. And yeah, you know someone is being sneaky here with the seven of swords. So you feel like you can't trust this person. They may be dealing with someone else and you know it and they deny it because you haven't caught them yet. But you feel it. I feel like your intuition and your gut feelings is telling you that this person is not being honest. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leos? Yeah, Page of Swords. This person is watching you because they know you're watching them. They know that you're keeping an eye on them. So they watching you as well to see if you're doing something. I feel like this person is like, well, if I'm doing something, I know Leo is. And you may not be, but they assume you are because of what they're doing to you. What messages do you have for Leos? This person could have a lot of followers. I keep seeing the star card. This person could be um, famous or have a lot of followers or subscribers on YouTube or social media. And they may get a big head because of it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leos? I feel like this person, um, if they get a lot of attention on social media, it's like that's where they may post a lot of pictures or show off or act like you know that's what makes them important or something like that spirit what messages what messages do you have for leos yeah seven of cups this person can't make their mind up about what it is that they want and i just feel like you're fed up with them still love them but fed up with them and you just you're confused you're stressed out and you're annoyed because you don't know what to do about the situation. I feel like you go back and forth because something's not moving forward here. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer and you are like, this is not moving forward. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know whether to leave or to stay or to try to fix it or do something. Yeah, you're feeling like you're single with the nine of pentacles. You're like, I'm in a connection with this person, but I still feel single. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo's? Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn where you're like, we're just not compatible. You may argue with this person a lot or they may accuse you of things and then you accuse them of things and you feel like you guys just argue when you can't get to the bottom of, of what, it, what it really is. And I feel like it's just the fact that you guys are not as compatible as you would like to be, but the sex could be good. So maybe you guys come together sexually. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry, but that's it. Spirit, what messages, what messages do you have for Leos? Mm. Some of you are thinking about walking away from the situation or you're dealing with the Queen of Swords, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. I also feel like you're cutting this person off or you're wanting to cut this person off, but you're wondering if you do, how will things play out? Okay, will that make them come towards you more or will that like if you cut this person off, will that just make them just walk away for good? And I feel like you might be afraid to do it, but you're feeling like you have no choice. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo's? Mm. So there's a decision that you're definitely needing to make when it comes to love. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. 
and we have the five of cups here so sometimes you get sad about how much effort and energy and emotions that you're putting into this person and that they're not doing the same thing for you with this five of cups and you find it hard to walk away from this all right we're gonna get some we're gonna pull one more and then we're gonna get some message cards here Spirit, give me one more for Leo's. Oh, okay, two of wands, decision making time, needing to make a decision about this person, and you're finding it hard to do so. So we're gonna get some message for us and let's see what your person is feeling and what they're thinking. I think I'm gonna use this deck. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo's? What is their person feeling and thinking? We have, it's not your fault. I feel the highest high like a roller coaster when I'm with you. So this person has a lot of love and a lot of respect. I feel like they have a lot of love and respect for you or, and a lot of regard for you. But it's something about them not wanting to settle down or they can't settle down because they're with someone else. I feel like this person wants to tell you like you are the love of their life but it's like at the wrong time of their life it's like because they they're stuck in something and they may not be letting it go and then this is not for all of you but i do feel this is for some of you here because remember in the beginning of your reading um i saw that i feel some of you are going to reconcile with this person and then others of you you're like in love with someone who's in love with you and you're trying to see where things are going but then i also feel for some of you because there were three storylines coming out of this reading I feel like some of you are waiting for someone to tell you what it is that they want to do here. How they want to move forward. If they want to move forward, do they want to commit? If not, like what do they want? Because I feel like someone keeps running away and then coming back, confusing you and the situation. You are very attractive. Yeah, see, this person has a lot of love for you, but I feel like you're dealing with someone who's just toxic. And that's how they've, you know, they've run their love life in the past. And now they meet you or... It's something where they don't know how to treat you. They don't know how to deal with you because you're not like the rest. I'm thinking about a time we spent together. I'm gathering courage to face my fears. Yeah, there's some sort of fear that this person has like coming towards you. Maybe they feel like um, they can't lie to you. They can't play games. You see right through them. Anytime they try to get over on you or tell you something, it's like you already know. you just coming to them. You already have the story or you already have the facts, but you're coming to them to see if they're going to admit it. We have constant reminders of you. So this person thinks about you all of the time. So if you're not speaking to them, they're still thinking about you. But they may be trying to act like they're not. They may be holding out on talking to you. For some of you, I'm picking up the energy that you want this person to walk away from their child's mother or child's father because they tell you that they're only with this person because of the child or they only see them to see the child, but you feel like there's more. You are consuming my thoughts. I keep hearing or seeing your name. I almost picked up the phone to call you. So this person is trying to refrain from calling you. It's like they're sitting in their pride. They're sitting in their ego. I did see that in the beginning of your beating with the Six of Wands. And they're waiting for you to reach out to them first. I'm wide awake now. So someone is coming to the reality that they want to be with you. And that um, no matter what you guys go through, no matter what type of arguments or fights or how much you fuss with each other, you're still going to be together. I feel like this person is yeah, just coming to the conclusion that they're going to be with you no matter what. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leos? What is their person feeling and thinking? I've been trying to forget you, but I can't. Yeah, they can't. They try to walk away. Act like they don't care. But they can't. I'm keeping an eye on you. And I saw that. I saw that in your reading with the Page of Swords. It's like they feel like they need to keep an eye on you because they know what they're doing. So they feel like you're doing something as well. And you may not. You may just be chilling. <laughs> okay. Waiting for them to come around and get their shit together. We have the Twin Flame energy card coming out here. So this could be for some of you, your Twin Flame that you're dealing with. And this is why you may find it hard to move away from this person. I'm saying good things about you to my friends. So they could be talking to their friends about you or getting advice, Leo. 
I feel like you're too much for this person. That's what I'm picking up on here in this reading. I was trying to see, like, what am I picking up on here? And I feel like some of you are dealing with someone where you're just too much for them. But they still love you. They want to be with you. You're a challenge. That's what I'm seeing here. You're a challenge for this person. And I feel like they're not telling you because they're too embarrassed to say it. Because they're not used to dealing with women or men. That's a challenge. The way I was raised. See, I feel like this person wasn't raised like you. Some of you guys were raised totally different. And then we have obsessive overthinking. So they may be obsessively overthinking um, about this situation, what to do, how, you know, they don't want to lose you. They don't want to let this go. And they need to work something out with you. We have, I'm sorry, I let my pride get in the way. I'm telling you, somebody's pride is so thick here that they are, it's like they can't see through it. And this is why they're not coming towards you, but you are very special to this person. Okay, Leo's like they may be acting like they don't want you, but they're stressed out because you guys aren't talking. So I feel like you're holding your ground with this person. They're holding their ground with you. And neither one of you guys may be talking right now. For those of you who are waiting for someone to come back towards you, I do see that you guys are going to reconcile with this person. Okay, because there's something that you guys still need to talk about. We have unfinished unfinished conversations and then we also have i don't want to lose you again so those are the messages that i have for your love and relationship reading like comment subscribe let me know what you guys are going through out there you can follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at my cards never lie to row i'm also on tiktok at the empress 522 and i will see you guys next time bye